Hi everyone, welcome to Spring Boot Timelip Crew Database Project Part 2. In Part 1, we have created and set up Spring Boot project in Eclipse STS ID and we have also created and set up database. Alright, in this Part 2, we are going to implement end to end list employee feature. In Part 1, we have created Spring Boot project, we have also created a packaging structure and then we have configured MySQL configuration and we have also created JP entity. All right, now we're going to implement list employee feature step by step. Okay, first we'll start with a repository. So let's go ahead and let's right click on a repository, new, and then choose interface. And let's give a name as employee repository. All right, and let's extend this interface to jpa repository okay so basically jpa repository exposes crew database operations for employee entity okay and here id is nothing but the type of the primary key let's annotate this interface with add repository annotation all right great now we can able to get a uh, crew database operations for employee entity by using jp repository now let's go and let's create a service right click new and choose class so first we'll create a interface right click new and then choose interface let's name it as employee service okay and let's quickly create a method list list of employees right let's call this method as get all employees okay it's pretty simple method now we're gonna create a class which implements this interface let's name this class as employee service impl okay and this class will implement employee service interface and then we're gonna override the method here and we simply first auto wire employee repository okay so here we are just injecting employee repository using at auto wire annotation now here we return a list of employees right so return employee repository dot find all method so file on find all method basically returns a list of employees so look at the return type of find all method okay great now we have created get all employees method all right so this will basically uh, return a list of employees to the controller now I'm gonna create a Spring MUC controller. Right click new and create a class. Let's name it as employee controller. Let's annotate this employee controller with at the rate controller annotation. So what we'll do, we'll create a method handler which will display list of employees. All right and here i'm just to going to write the comment display list of employees all right let's create a method handler public and we need to supply a list of employees to the view layer for that we need to use a model here And let's annotate this method handler with at the rate request mapping annotation or we can also use at the rate get mapping annotation all right now what we'll do we'll add data to the model let's use at attribute and uh, method here Add attributes 
with q value pair right so here i will give a list the employees and here i will call so before that we need to inject service class right let's use at auto add annotation and here just inject employee service and let's call this employee service here dot get all employees and here we just return the view name that is let's call that is an index let's call home uh, timelip template as an index okay so what we have done we have you know we have retrieved a list of employees and we have added to the model here and we just return the index so this is the uh, you know time lip template that we will uh, design right now so look at here this is the templates folder under resource directory and we need to create all time lip templates under templates folder because spring muc needs a view resolver right in order to resolve the views whenever spring boot finds a time leap starter dependency on a class path then it will automatically configure a view resolver for time leap template engine so we no need to manually add a view resolver for time leap template engine and by default spring boot will pick up time leap templates from templates folder hence we need to create time leap templates under templates folder all right let's right click on it new and then choose html file and here we need to give a name as index so this is our home page which will display a list of employees let's design time leap template so let's replace title with the employee management system so our project name is employee management system right and here let's create a div and let's align this div to the center align center and here we create a h1 tag and here we simply call as employees list and then we create a table and then we create a table header all right and this is the table body under table header we create a row here and then here th and let's call it as employee first name all right so you can start coding with me so that you will get a hands-on experience and then let's say employee last name let's create one more header and this is employee email okay and in a body we create again a row let me quickly add time lead code here so look at here we are using time leap uh, directives here so you are just uh, iterating over a list of employees so this list employees we got from the controller from here okay and here we just uh, iterate our list employees using you know uh, time leap directive and here we are using time leap expression to render our employee first name last name and email all right this is pretty simple time leap template for home page to render list of employees okay great now 
we have completed end to end you know uh, list employee feature mm, what else remaining i think uh, we have done it so what we'll do we'll run the application and we'll see the demo so before that uh, what i will do i will insert some records into a database okay so first we'll run the spring boot project then hibernate will automatically create a employee table in a database and then we'll insert a employee records okay so in order to run spring boot project go to the main entry point of our class right click run as spring boot app or spring boot project so they get here the logs we have basically configured log levels for hibernate in application dot file right hence there are a lot of logs are printing on a console here uh, oops we got some error here oops we forgot to add annotation to the service i guess so here basically we need to add at the rate service annotation and also we need to provide at the transactional annotation so we can skip this annotation because spring data jpa internally will handle the transactions so we can skip this annotation now what we'll do we'll run our spring boot project once again spring boot app no errors in our application setup now our application is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 now let's go to the browser and let, let's access this uh, employee list page in a browser tab just type localhost colon 8080 so this will give uh, this will display the page looks like this so let's open index.xml file here and uh, we just provide a border for our table border one okay and then again refresh so here you here you can see we have just uh, provided a border for table now what we'll do we'll add few records to the employee table in a database go to the mysql workbench here refresh it and you can see in a demo database employee tables is created let's insert few records let's apply apply and finish now we have inserted three records in a employees table so basically we insert these records by using uh, add a new employee page that will implement in further videos okay go to the web browser again refresh it yeah here you can see we can able to see three employees just that we have inserted in a employees table right in database Ramesh, Sina, Tony Stark all right so this is how we have implemented end-to-end -end employee list feature now what we'll do we'll add some bootstrap css and we will style our web page now what we'll do we'll add a bootstrap css to the uh, our html page for that we need to add a bootstrap css library right so what i will do i will get some bootstrap css uh, from the cdn site so you can copy this uh, link you can just search for cdn bootstrap then you can able to get this link okay so instead of downloading and adding to the project i can use this cdn provided bootstrap css file okay now once we have bootstrap css file we can able to add a classes right so let's go ahead and let's add some classes css classes to the table here mm, class And this is a table table stripped and table responsive okay now let's go to the browser and let's refresh again now you can see uh, some changes happened on our web page right we have just added bootstrap 
CSS uh, classes so that uh, our table looks good right so let's go ahead and let's add few more CSS classes and let's make this web page beautiful uh, what we'll do we'll add a container here class container so this will basically add a new container now again refresh again you can see here now our web page looks good right so we can get this h1 tag here at the top remove this align center this is not required because we have added uh, you know container here now again let's go and let's refresh it now our web page looks like looks good right all right so this is how we have implemented end-to-end -end list m5 feature in next video we'll see how to implement add new employee feature all right great i will see you in the next video